So in this video, I'm going to talk about how to start an e-commerce business in 2023 using free tools and AI. I'm going to explain each and everything. Let's not waste any time. Like and subscribe this video. Let's get started. So whenever someone think about starting an e-commerce business, there is so much information on YouTube like Amazon FBA, eBay, Shopify, and we just get confused and think about where I can just simply get started from. Normally, you can divide all of these platforms into two different categories so number one it will be the marketplace platform and the number two it will be the non-marketplace platform ebay is a marketplace amazon is a marketplace Etsy is a marketplace tiktok shop is a marketplace so whenever a customer need to buy something and these platforms have their own search engine just like google so you go there and you type the product that you are looking for and if a seller happen to sell that product they just simply buy from them they are the people already visiting Amazon and they are looking for the product but on the other side for example Shopify Shopify just simply give you tools to design your own website for example I have a website called highzensha.com but without me having to tell somebody or to promote my website through the Facebook ads or through the Google ads or through organic marketing just like the way I am doing now I just told you for free that my website is highzensha.com but without having to do that, nobody will ever know. So there are no customer visiting my website without me having to promote it. So if you are a beginner, I will stay away from non-marketplaces platform. So for example, Shopify, I do not recommend unless you have an advertising budget where you can actually spend money on a Facebook ads or Google ads. So I will start from something which is a marketplace. Now, which market place will be the better for you so i personally sell on ebay and i personally sell on amazon but in the beginning you need to keep in mind that you can get started by selling on both of them you need to look into what vibes with you better and focus on that platform in the beginning some people vibe with ebay some people vibe with amazon both of these platforms are somewhat similar but what you need to keep in mind the main focus is going to be your product research which i'm going to talk about how to do that but once you have a product you can sell the same product on ebay you can sell the same product on amazon you can down the line start your own shopify store start selling on etsy and start selling on tiktok shop wherever you want to sell because this is how you're going to scale your business but in the beginning once you're going to try to be everywhere you're going to end up nowhere so focus on one platform and then just get the account for that one and your main energy and entire focus should go into the product research now let's get into the product research how you're gonna get on with that one but first of all if you have no idea where to get started from nowadays in 2023 there are the tools like chat gbt that you can use and you will be able to get a decent idea what products you can sell so let me show you a couple of examples so i'm not going to go into much detail of what chat gpt is it is completely free to use and i'm gonna put the link for that inside the description so what you need to do right here once you come i have typed top non-branded item to sell on amazon now the reason i type non-branded otherwise it's gonna suggest maybe iphone or macbooks and those kind of stuff as well and we want to normally stay away from those type of item this is to get like a initial inspiration so for example you know this is a uh the first one is a food accessories i sell mobile food and accessories on ebay and amazon I built my entire business on mobile food and accessories just because I had a physical food shop before. So you can see the charging cables right here. These are great item to get started from. So this, once you get the inspiration from chat GPT, you can even type if you want to sell on eBay, you can type like top items to sell on eBay, Shopify, wherever. So the next thing which I normally do, you might not be able to get a lot of information about charging cables because they are very essential items and they are like a regular type of item they are not seasonal dependent they are not like one time viral item so you can type that into google trends and you can actually see if these products are consistent so normally if you look right here this is really really a good sign but another example which i give you so you might be able to get a good idea why we're looking at google trend if i type fidget spin 
spinners. These were like a very uh, kind of seasonal item. They went viral and then all of the sudden the sale just, you know, declined. You can see around this time, around uh, uh, 2022, the sale really spiked again and then all of the sudden the sale really go down. You don't want to, you want to stay away from these type of items. So over past five years, if I do over past seven years, again, you see big spikes of a sale and then the sale is literally right here is completely dead. You do want to stay away from these type of items. So that's why we kind of validate our idea with the Google Trends as well. Other than that, uh, this is the second thing I do in a third thing, which I'm not going to go into that one because that will be the paid option, but I will just give you kind of sneak peek of it so there are the tools that you can use for example if you are selling on amazon there is a helium 10 they have a, a free chrome extension jungle scout as well on the ebay they have a zeek analytics there are a lot of other tools in the market as well i'm gonna put the one which i use the link for them will be inside the description so that will give you a little bit more information so for example the world keyboard charging cable have got 163 thousand seal in past 30 days so this is the data from past 30 days and then it it got 55 thousand solds you know an average selling price on ebay is this one right here but it, then it shows you the listing as well but if you don't have these free tools what you can normally do just simply because we need to look what item are selling we need to see the actual listing so we validated the idea the next thing which i do to kind of avoid paying for the paid tools you can come right here and type amazon best sellers uk depending on wherever you are you can type us or you know depending on which country you are and once you will be right here amazon actually categorize their item as well based on how many sales they are getting so we already got the idea from chat gpt that we are looking for the charging cable so once you come on amazon just simply select the relevant category so in this case it is going to be computer and accessories so i will go into the computer and accessories and straight away i can see these are the types of cable which are doing really really well here a lot of people think about okay well i need to have a lot of money to actually buy this item in a bulk like you know five thousand six thousand worth of quantity no you don't even need to go on alibaba you can go on aliexpress as well and once i type on aliexpress you can see the prices on aliexpress are v cheaper it's not as cheaper as alibaba but they are still very cheaper but even though they are cheaper you can start with a small quantity like let's say 50 of them or 100 of them you don't need to buy them in like a bulk depending on whatever budget you have before i buy that so for example if like these are the items right here they looks very similar before i actually place the order for this one i actually message that seller and i say i want to start with 50 or i want to start with 100 can you offer me some discount and 99 percent of the time they will give you a really really more cheaper price you know so in that price once you get that item let's say the lending cost for this one will be 150 for each you know you need to include your shipping and taxes as well still these items are going for 889 on amazon still there is a decent profit and based on you can see this item got 51000 ratings you just imagine how many customers have actually bought and haven't left the reviews as well so even though after selling one of it you make about 2 3 pound profit you are selling huge quantity of these items as well so that's the way this is how you can get started so what i normally do once i'm doing my product research you can make a list of about 10 products and go through the same pro same process which i show you chat gpt google amazon bestseller and then go through once more time select the top three of them and you will get a really really decent idea how to get started now let's talk about how you actually gonna promote your product even though you are selling on ebay and amazon there is a, a kind of viral free opportunity to actually promote your products outside of ebay and amazon so you don't heavily rely on these platforms and of course i'm talking none other than tiktok there is a great opportunity to promote your products there are many many different sellers who have built their entire business based on tiktok for example tim have built their his entire watch 
business based on a TikTok only. You will see many other sellers selling clothing, selling candies at the same time. It is a free promotion. Once you have an item, just start showcasing your items. Start talking about your items. You can record like small, small videos. You don't even need to show your face or you don't even like need to even record your voice. TikTok have these voices built inside. So you can just simply like the videos here. You can just show the item arriving to your step door, opening it and then charging your phone with it, mentioning other few features with it as well. This is the way you can freely promote your products on a TikTok. It's it's like a, a really free opportunity for you. And at the end of the day, if you really need to build the entire business out of it, it is something that you can do in your spare time. I have another video where I talked about how you can actually do the listing on Amazon once you have a product. So if you are, you know, at that stage where you need to do the listing and you need to understand the entire business, I have a full video right here. Make sure you check that out.